Hi, my name is Tracy Cornelius. I'd like to welcome you to Get Creative with Tracy. Today's tutorial is going to be a variation on this card here. So, the stamp sets that we're going to be using today are the Flower Shop stamp set from Stamping Up, and we're also going to use the Chow Baby Love uh, section of this stamp here. So to make this card, the first thing we'll need to do is to create a C6 card plank. And to do that, if you take your stamping trimmer and cut your A4 into A5, and you can see another one of my video tutorials on how to make the markings on your trimmer to make it much easier. Once you've done that, you just fold your A5 sheet in half, and then this creates a C6, a card blank, and just use your bone folder to make the edges really crisp. The other thing that you're also going to need is um, a piece of cardstock which is two inches wide by the length of your C6 card blank. And I've already gone ahead and cut that just to save time. And this section here we're going to emboss. So just bringing in the Big Shot Machine. I'm going to be using the Pretty Print embossing folder. So just pop that into your folder and make sure that it's straight. Fold it down and then for this we're going to need tab 2. So just open this up, sorry tab 1, taking off tab 2. Pop your first plate on, embossing fold it in, and then the plate over the top. And then you can just scroll that through. And you'll see that we've got a really beautifully embossed uh, piece of cardstock. The next thing that we're going to need to do is to stamp out our flowers, so pop that to one side and then taking a piece of cardstock. For this one, because I always like to do different colourways, I'm going to stamp two out in the pear pizzazz. And what you'll notice on my stamp is I have a little section at the bottom and it's marked with B, meaning bottom. And I've also done the same on here. And that's purely because when we go to punch out the image, uh, I can ensure that it's going to line up with the punch really well. Because as you'll see, these petals aren't the exact distance apart all the way around. So I've stamped out two in the purpose as. And then my middle one is going to be using Blushing Bride. So again, just ink that one up, and then stamp out. This is such a great combination of colours, it's very pretty. And then taking your um, pansy punch, you can just go in, and you can see that because I've put that down the bottom, it lines up perfectly. So just spend a little bit of time making sure that you've got an equal distance all the way around. Of course, now that I'm doing this on the camera, it's taking me longer than normal. And then punch all of them out. And then our last one. Um, as an indication, when I go to punch mine out, I will hold the punch down halfway until you kind of feel a bit of resistance against the paper. And this just then means that I can ease off a little bit and I can position it until I'm happy with it. Whereas if I've got the punch all the way out, the cardstock can play around a lot more and it can take longer to line up. So now that I've done those ones, we can... pop 
everything onto our card blank. Now for this I want to make sure that we've got a bit of depth so it isn't stuck direct onto the card and for this one I'm creating tone on tone and that basically means that you're just using the same coloured cardstock as your base. So pop in stamping dimensionals onto the back and you really want to kind of make sure that you've got an even coverage so don't forget the middle ones. Let me just peel off the backing. And we can add this onto the card. So I'm just going to try and line that one up. And then popping a stamping dimensional onto the back of each one of the flowers. And then before I peel off the backing, I just want to use my bone folder to create a bit of life in the petals. So just taking your bone folder and your thumb, just manipulate the paper outwards. Same again on all of the flowers. And the way that I'm going to line mine up is I'll always do the ends first. So first one's going to go down and then position that in the centre. Same again for the next one. And this just means that when it comes to doing the middle one, you can get an equal distance. It's much easier to line it all up. This is such a quick card to make as well. I'm just going to clean off that stamp. Okay, now for the love section, obviously I don't want the frame, so I'm going to use a stamp and write marker, and I'm going to use the Blushing Bride to match the colour of our centre flower. So I'm just going to colour in the love section, and I will miss out the frame completely. And then I can stamp this one down the bottom. How cute does that look? And then just to finish off the card, I'm going to be using the Blushing Bride once again. And this time I'm going to use the Owl Builder Punch. There's a tiny little heart on there, which is a perfect size for this. So just popping in my cardstock, doing it at a bit of an angle because I don't want to waste loads of card. Stamp that one out. Oh, sorry, punch that one out. And then I can use a little glue dot, one of our mini glue dots. And all I'll do is just manipulate the glue behind the heart before I put it down. And that way it will stop anything being seen. And I will place it down. And now I can just manoeuvre it into place. And then again, to add another little finishing touch, you can add one of the small pearls to the centre. Or to the little top. Oh, that one's gone to the top, but it looks very cute. And if you want to, as you can see within this one, I've just finished these ones off with um, some pearls in the centre. So I'm just going to do the same thing again. So this time we're taking the medium ones. And the easiest way to do this is to place the centre one first. So I'll just pop it down, position it, and then I'll press it into place. Once you've got the centre one, you can then pop the pearls in and around it to create the effect that you're looking for. It does require a little bit of patience because each one of these little pearls has a mini glue dot behind it, which is fantastic because you don't need to worry about gluing it, but it does then mean that you need 
to spend a little bit of time manipulating them and sometimes unsticking them from yourself. So as you can see this one's now beginning to come together. It's just a really cute effect. And even though it might seem a little time consuming, it's definitely worth it. It usually goes quicker than this, but because I'm obviously videoing, it's always going to take longer. If they say anything's going to go wrong, it will always go wrong while you're being watched or doing it on camera, that's for sure. See, doesn't that look really cute? And then I can add um, another one. I think for the centre one, I'm going to add one of my jumbo ones. Can you see the difference? Um, they're just slightly larger, and that will really make it pop then. So popping that one down, and then... Didn't get that one completely centred. Press them into place. And then again we're going to repeat the process for our next flower. You might find it easier to get these off with your piercing tool. Sometimes I do. I do have a habit though if I try and do this that I flick them off. So best way to do it is just to get the um, sharp section right underneath the pearl but then put your finger over the top and that will just stop it flicking away and then you spend your time trying to find it underneath the table. Also makes it a little bit easier for positioning these as well. So if you haven't already got a piercing tool, there's just another reason to get one. <laughs> and just manipulate those into place, and there you have it. How cute is that? Such a beautiful card, really simple, actually very, very quick to make as well. And here's the one that I've done using the brights. So it suits, this design suits a number of different colourways. And just as a contrast, this one is predominantly in the black and white colour scheme. But instead of using stamping dimensionals, I've matted this one onto the basic black card and then just added a little bit of the Blushing Bride. Um, on the heart. So there you have it. There's our little card using the flower shop stamp set. Hope you really enjoyed today's tutorial. Love to hear your comments so please do leave one and check out the other videos that I have available on my YouTube channel and please visit my blog for a list of products used as well as all the dimensions. Thanks very much. Take care. Bye.